All right, it's time for another math easy solution. We're going to discuss uh, the Hopital's rules. Pronounced like that, spelled like hospital, but uh, it's called the Hopital's rule. And the in indeterminate forms, what they are, basically uh, illustrate what it is. It's an intro to this. So let's start off with if you have a function, let's say fx is equal to ln x, x minus 1. And then as you can see, this one's clearly not defined for x, uh, it's basically x can't equal 1, because if you put it there, you're going to have, you're going to have something divided by 0, so you can't have it here. But let's say we want to know how it behaves near 1. And uh, what I mean by this is basically we want to know what the limit <coughs> at, uh, limit as x approaches 1 of basically ln x, x minus 1 equals. But then it, 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 with this one, if you put the uh, ln x here, um, it, it, it approaches 0 here. So you have, if you have limit as x approaches 1 of ln x, and this one at the bottom, limit x approaches 1 of x minus 1, this one approaches 0. You see my other video on what log, uh, logarithms are in a natural log. So you're going to have something like 0 over 0. This is supposed to approach 0. And this one, we don't know how to basically, well, we can't tell if this one has a limit or not. So we just write that down here. And from this, we call these ones indeterminate forms. So this one is an indeterminate. And from this, we are not uh, quite sure how to solve something like this. But uh, before I showed that, if you had a a function with common um, common factors like uh, rational functions for example if you have something let's say limit of uh, let's say x squared minus x divided by x squared minus 1 this one if you put 1 in here you're gonna have 1 divided by 0 you're gonna also have 0 over 0 here except with the with this one you could also uh, break into common factors and this would just be if you take the x out x over x minus 1 and this one here, this one is just equal to, well, x plus 1, x minus 1. You just multiply this out, you'll get this one if you factor it out. And then you can just cancel the like terms, and you'll get um, basically limit of x uh, divided by x plus 1. And then this just equals to 1 over 2. So this limit exists. But the, with this one, we can't really separate them because uh, this function is its not a rational function. This is something pretty ridiculous. So, uh, but also... Another uh, point where we need, if we were going to infinity, yeah, so if we had something, let's say, like um, limit x goes to infinity of ln x, x over 1. And once again, this one, the top one, it's going to be both going to like infinity over infinity here. And with, uh, with many functions like this one right here, we can't really uh, solve for what these are. Basically, in, in general, if you have something, let's say, like negative infinity over infinity, infinity over negative, or, or infinity or whatnot, or infinity over infinity, th these are also in indeterminate forms. So we have, yeah, this one is also an indeterminate form. We have form. So this one is also indeterminate. This means we can't really determine how to get the limit here. But I showed also another video on uh, getting. If you were to get the limit of uh, another ra rational function, something like this, you'll have, let's say if we want ex uh, limit of uh, x squared uh, minus 1 divided by 2x squared plus 1, where x goes to infinity. In this case, both you'll have infinity over infinity here. And it's also indeterminate, but with uh, functions like this, all you got to do is show that you could just divide by 1 over x squared with the, basically the highest power of x. So this one's x squared, and also divided by x squared on top and bottom. So we're not really changing anything. This just becomes, well, this one's going to be called, this will just be limit x to infinity. This one will be 1 minus 1 over x squared over 2 plus 1 over x squared. And then we put infinity in this. Is, this goes to 0. This goes to 0. We're left with 1 over 2. So as you can see from these functions, we could uh, get to get the uh, limit quite easily. But with functions like this one, we can't use these methods here. So now uh, we'll have to look at La Hopital's rule right here, which we can get the limit if there exists there. So now La, Hospi La Hopital's rule basically states if you have f, <coughs> if you have function f of x and g of x, and they're both differentiable. You can see my other video on uh, what how to determine functions that are differentiable. So if they're differentiable, 
And another uh, condition is basically if g prime of x is not equal to zero near, let's say, near x equals a, I'll use that in, in a bit, except uh, it can equal it at, at a, except possibly at a. And the other condition is if you have, have let's say, limit as x approaches a is of f of x is equal to zero and similarly a limit of x approaches a of g of x equal to zero or yeah or basically you have the the opposite of this one where basically this goes to infinity plus or minus infinity and this goes plus or minus infinity well, basically what i'm getting at is this one is indeterminate form of zero over zero and this one is infinity over infinity then then if we have so basically then let me just write that then the limit of x approaches a of f of x over g of x and this is the hoppy tells rule i'll show a proof of it in another video but basically this will equal to limit of x approaches a of the derivative so f prime of x over g prime of x. That's basically, then, then we get this right here. So now if you were to uh, sh like graph this, uh, graph this out, you could actually see that it should be true here. So we have, let's say here's a x, y axis right here. Y axis, say you have a function like, like this right here. So we'll call this one f of x here. Then you have another function that's near zero, like this. It crosses at zero because the limit at a is zero. This one is g of x. So as you can see, this one is where a is. Let's call this a. So basically, what it's saying is it just equals a derivative. And you can see from here, if you draw the the derivative here, this one, the this line here is for f of x. So then if you have this line here, this one is uh, the, the tangent line to f of x. This line, you could write the function as y equals m1. Well, it's just a slope and is x minus a here. And well, you can see that this line, that you could do this one because th this point here is basically at a0. And the equation of uh, the slope is just rise over run. So you could have um, m1 is equal to rise, which is, let's pick a point here, y. So y between this one here, this is zero, so we're gonna have y minus zero over basically x minus a here. So if you yeah, this this would be point x y, and the difference between here this is a, so that's zero right here. So you could get it in the form of this right here, and then similarly for g of x, you're gonna have a slope line like this, and we'll just write this one out. This would be y is equal to m2 x minus a, similar to that one, because they're both at zero here. And then if you look at the ratios here, so basically ratios of the two numbers, m1 x minus a, m2 x minus a, and then this basically just would equal m1 over m2, and this kind of suggests it's not the, the definite proof, I'll show my other video because it's a bit harder to do. Suggest, so just write that down. Basically suggest that limit of x minus a at, this, at, at a of f of x over g of x is equal to the derivative. Because remember the slope is just, um, I mean the derivative is just the slope at the line, the tangent line there. And this, it suggests it's this. So now let's uh, take a look back at uh, that function we were trying to take the limit of. So we had the um, limit of x approaches 1 of ln x, x minus 1 here. So remember this one is a 0 over 0 indeterminant. We could, now we can apply the hoppy tells rule. So this just equals to, well, the derivative of the top, which is just 1 over x. And then derivative at the bottom, this one is just basically one. So then it's just gonna be equal to limit x to one of one over x and this just put a one in there just equals to one here. So there's our limit and it's much easier than doing what uh, we had before. Uh, basically this is even easier than doing that the one where we had 
of 1, this 1x squared minus x. Before we uh, had to divide out uh, by the highest common root, but now we'd, since it's 0 over 0, we just take a straight derivative of it of the top. So this was equal to, using the hoppy tails rule, this equals to 2x minus 1 over 2x. Put a 1 in here, We just this will be 2 minus 1, this just equals 1 over 2. So it's just much easier to use, so La Hopital is much better. And then also get the, getting the last one here where we had the top one limit as x approaches infinity of ln x, x minus 1. This this would just equal to, again, again take a derivative. It's the same as before. We're going to get 1 over x here, and this will put an infinity. This just equals to 0. This goes to 0 there. So that's uh, that's all. I'll show you actually. Uh, we'll graph it out just to show that it is it is true here. So if you were to graph it with Google here, let's go ln x divided by x minus one. This this just equals to here. Well, as you can see, at at one here, just zoom out. So at one, yeah, as you can see at this point here, it's it's, it's at one here. So it's limit of one is one. And as we go to infinity, keeps going. Yeah, as you see, it keeps going. It's going to zero, so it keeps going on and on until it's basically zero. Here, you can see it's getting smaller and smaller. Well, that's uh, all for today. Hopefully, uh, you learned about the Tells rules. Be a brief intro, uh, and then you can see how it should be true here, as it go just by looking at the ratio of the function of the uh, equation of the of the tangent lines, and then should be equal to the derivative. So I'll show another video, it's a bit more complex uh, proof of it, but um, it's for later, and also to do some more examples on limits using a hoppy tells rule and whatnot. Well, that's uh, all for today, hopefully you learned, and um, stay tuned for another math easy solution.